Good evening guys. This is an unplanned stop in Makarska where we were able to find a gorgeous apartment who is owned by a very nice guy called Josep. Last night we had a small room in Shibenik. Uh, nothing to share with you honestly. <laughs> with a very very small bath. We weren't able to take a shower properly. Although it was very high, highly rated on booking. And now we had for the same price, unbelievable, a very very nice large apartment which in high season is rented with 200 euro per day. We were managed to take this from booking for only 36 euro. So you heard it good. So this apartment cost 200 For now we have seen performance cruiser boats which was initially our um, objective to buy a boat uh, for cruising but uh, a boat uh, that can be as well as used uh, in regattas. From that point of view definitely Salona 37 it's a very interesting option. It has some minuses, the furniture and the um, engine hours uh, are not known, so a compression test uh, would be smart to do on that engine. And also to hire a surveyor, which is a thing that everybody recommends for that uh, budget. But, for similar money we found a cruiser, a Hanse 400, a boat uh, I never thought uh, I was looking, I was not interested in cruisers and not 40 feet. So, um, but I decided to, to make an effort to see it because it's uh, listed uh, at an interesting price and uh, from the pictures looks great and uh, has only 400 hours the engine. Hi, well, I have schedule. We need to, to extend the, the parking a little bit in order to be able to to have uh, the breakfast before we go uh, on our trip to, to Montenegro. This is the parking machine. Luckily we have some kuna, so we will use them now. So we are on the road to, to Montenegro, we will enter the highway soon. Amazing roads here in uh, Croatia. We are a little bit behind the schedule, but hopefully we will catch up on the road. Uh, in order to do not look uh, unserious to... And this is Jetica, my car. I name it after a sailboat I used last year for regatta seasons in Romania. Very good car. It's doing well. Unfortunately, we have bad luck. The road is blocked. We are... 16 kilometers to our destination, but nobody is moving. Police and ambulances are coming all the way, and uh, we are afraid that there is a bad accident happen. And that's why uh, that's why we are stuck here. It's 15 February here in Montenegro. The spring already. So, 
Google Maps did us a surprise and did lead us to a ferry boat because it's shorter through here. We didn't get why 60 kilometers took us more than half an hour, maybe one hour. So this is because we calculated also the time schedule of the ferry boat. Here we are on the other side of the sea. So in eight minutes we arrive. Very, 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 very uh -huh. nice. It smells new. <laughs> huh? New it smells new. Oh, yeah. Reggie, what's your motor? He's No hours. Yeah. Uh, this is Yugoslav summary yeah, from the Cold War. And here there was only one country, Yugoslavia. Now it's split it in many pieces. Montenegro, Bosnia Herzegovina, Slovenia, Serbia, Croatia and Kosovo which is not recognized as a state by all the countries Romania for example does not recognize Kosovo as a separate part of Serbia Monsters of the Cold War. It was better to build yachts with the money spent on this submarine. <laughs> Probably another boat used for military purposes. So Great to share with you these moments. It was an interesting, interesting trip. Now we will look for some accommodation around here, and tomorrow we will uh, we will drive back to, to Romania. We are not so far from Romania uh, from here, but the, we don't have the same highways that we we did in Croatia. So it will be a long, long ride again. We are crossing the Danube to Vidin uh, and Calafat. Calafat is a Romanian uh, city. And uh, we are back in, uh, in Romania. After more than 3,000 kilometers, our journey comes to the end. It's Saturday evening. And uh, in the next episode, 
we will share with you our thoughts regarding the decision that we are going to take and uh, the administrative things and signing the contract hopefully how we will arrange with the agency the new acquisition